بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اور ٹاپک از افیکٹ آف پائلو کارپن آن ریبٹس آئی ٹو ٹائپس آف مسلز ان آئرس دیٹ کنٹرولنگ پیپل سائز دیز آر کانسٹرکٹر پیپلائی اینڈ ڈائلیٹر پیپلائی ان کانسٹرکٹر پیپلائی ہیو سرکولر مسل دیٹ کنٹینز ایم تھری اٹس کانٹریکشن بائی ایم تھری ایگونسٹ ریزلٹنگ میوسس and its paralysis by n3 antagonist resulting midriasis uh, second is the dilator papillae have uh, radial muscles that contain alpha 1 its contraction by alpha 1 agonist resulting active midriasis its paralysis by alpha 1 agonist resulting uh, its uh, paralysis by alpha 1 antagonist resulting meiosis The iris in sphincter muscles including papillary sphincter, papillary constrictor, circular muscle of the iris, circular fibers. Uh, these are the muscles in the part of the eye called the iris. It encircles the pupil of the iris appropriate to its function as a constrictor of the pupil. Accommodation One muscle in ciliary body is responsible for accommodation that contains M3. Contraction of ciliary muscle by M3 agonist resulting relaxation of suspensory ligaments. Lens more convex and fixation of eye for near vision. This is spasm of accommodation is equal to cyclospasm. Paralysis of ciliary muscle. muscles by m3 antagonist results in traction of suspensory ligaments lens become more flat and there is fixation for far vision this is paralysis of accommodation is equal to cycloplegia all sympathetic drugs uh, means agonist and antagonist have no effect on uh, accommodation as there is no sympathetic innervation for ciliary muscle ciliary muscle is an intrinsic muscle of the eye formed as a ring of smooth muscle in the eye's middle layer uvea or vascular layer it controls accommodation for viewing objects at varying distance and regulates the flow of aqueous humor into Shearman's canal it also changes the shape of the lens within the eye but not the size of the pupil which is carried out by the sphincter papillary muscle and dilator papillary light reflex when we apply light to the eye reflex meiosis occurs to protect the eye this reflex needs healthy unblocked constrictor papillary muscle this muscle is blocked only in cases of the m3 antagonist as atropine so light reflex is present in all cases except in case of the use of m3 antagonist now the pharmacology of pilocarpin pilocarpin is a drug that acts as a muscarinic receptor agonist it acts on a subtype of muscarinic receptor m3 found on the iris in sphincter muscle causing the muscle to contract resulting in pupil constriction that is meiosis pilocarpin also acts on the ciliary muscle and causes it to contract when the ciliary muscle contract it opens the trabecular meshwork through increased tension on the scalarar spur this action facilitates the rate that aqueous humor leaves the eye to decrease intraocular pressure uh, when pilocarpin induces the ciliary muscle contraction known as accommodative spasm it causes the eye's lens to thicken and move forward within the eye this movement causes the iris which is located immediately in front of the lens to also move forward narrowing the interior chamber angle narrowing of the interior chamber angle increase the risk of increased intraocular pressure this action of pilocarpin which is cholinergic agonist that is muscarinic agent on the pupil and uh, on accommodation can be antagonized by atropine which is cholinergic antagonist 
pilocarpin produces vasodilatation in the conjunctiva and produces hyperemia meiosis is produced by action of pilocarpin on circular muscle of iris and so papillary size is decreased application of the drug with acetylcholine like action such as pilocarbin carbacol or physostigmine to the rabbit eye cause pupillary constriction accommodation for near vision by contraction of the ciliary body and uh, increasing the curvature of the lens pupillary constriction on uh, exposure to light the intraocular pressure falls as a result of meiosis conjunctival hyperemia and it produces meiosis in this slide you can see the procedure the experiment is done on both uh, rabbit eyes clean the eyes before start of experiment record the um, reading on both eyes at 0 minute first light reflex it is done through the beam of the light by means of torch into the eye second cornea sensation this test is done with the whips of uh, cotton wool third conjunctival of vascularity observe the paleness and uh, hyperemic which is constricted or dilated fourth pupil size measurement of pupil size is done now the procedure continued um the right eye is set as control to which one to two drops of distal water is added one drop of 2% pilocarpin is instilled into the left eye of rabbit and the above parameters are observed and take reading at time 5 10 15 20 and 25 minutes wash the left eye with normal line at the end of experiment make the graph between time per minute versus pupil size which is in mm note healthy rabbit should be used cotton wool should be slightly touched with rabbit eyes in this slide you can see the procedure showing the effect of pilocarpin corneal reflex and light reflex If you like our presentation please like share and subscribe to our channel and be sure to press the bell icon thank you for watching our video